I'm Pastor Kirsten, and I'm happy to be with all of you on this first Sunday in Advent. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. It helps when I turn the microphone on. <laughs> um, today isn't going to be like a normal worship service. Um, we're stirring things up a little, and um, we'll explain that a little bit more later. If you have a container or a food item, please just hold on to it and keep it safe, and don't mess with it until I tell you. Got it? Got it. <laughs> um, I do need to share with you all the um, very sad news where my heart's hurting this morning, that our dear brother Jack Sands entered life eternal on Wednesday morning. He was prepared, and it was peaceful, and he had the opportunity to um, say goodbye to all of his loved ones. And still, just because it might be, he might be ready doesn't mean that I am, <laughs> or any of the rest of us, but um, we will be planning a time to celebrate and honor his life, and I ask for continued prayers for his family. We're going to begin this morning with our gathering song. Um, I invite you to please stand as you are able. Mm -hmm. Stir Up Sunday, 
They gave it this nickname because the ancient traditional prayers of Advent all began with the words, stir up. Stir up your power. Stir up our hearts. Stir up the wills of your faithful people. And so on. The good Victorians took these stirring words as a reminder that it was time to prepare their Christmas puddings. Puddings, by the way, was their generic term for desserts. So on the first Sunday of Advent, they began their Christmas baking in earnest. Some of you all might have also. In keeping with their tradition, we are going to prepare our own Advent pudding. Well, fruitcake to be more precise. Each of the ingredients will represent something that we bring to our life together as a community of faith. Sometimes our gifts, sometimes our failings. It all gets stirred together in the body of Christ. One of the earliest traditions of Advent is remembering the mission and ministry of John the Baptist and his call to repentance as he prepared the way for the ministry of Jesus. But repentance doesn't have to be morose and gloomy. The Greek word, which gets translated as repent, is metanoia, which actually means to change your mind or change your heart. That can be a light, positive, and free.
Please stand as you are able. Let us prepare our hearts for worship by confessing our sins. First lesson, Jeremiah chapter 33, verses 14 through 16. The days are surely coming, said the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In, in those days and at that time, I will cause a righteous branch to spring up for David, and he shall ex execute justice and of righteousness in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will live in safety. And this is the name by which it will be called the Lord in our righteousness. And the, the Lord is our righteousness. Word of God, word of life. Each candle has a name. 
hope, peace, joy, and love. The first candle is the light of hope. Our hope is in Jesus Christ, and hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. We light this candle to remind us of the light of Christ coming into the world. In him was life, and that life was the light of all humanity. You may be seated. Jesus said, this is the greatest commandment. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul, and all your strength. And you shall love your neighbor as yourself. By the power of the Spirit, may the love of Christ increase in you daily to fill your life with a sweetness that brings goodness and compassion 
to everyone you encounter. Let us all pray together. Stir up our hearts, Lord God, to prepare the way of your only Son. By his coming, we give to all the people of the world knowledge of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The second coming in First Thessalonians chapter three verses nine through thirteen. How can we thank God enough for you in return for the joy that we feel before our God because of you? Night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see your face, you face to face, and restore whatever is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you, and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we abound in love for you. And may he so strengthen your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. Word of God, word of life. Now our next ingredients um, are 15 eggs. And well, you can see how pretty this is. Yeah. I don't have a lot of confidence that it's going to fit in that bowl. So Matt? He's on duty. Come on. <laughs> I was told to get something, somebody really strong to stir it up. Maybe 
a very strange omelet. <laughs> it's a picture of our congregation. Each person adds something unique to the mix. But we are connected and pulled together by the life and love of Christ. Now these are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it's the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. Let us all pray. Stir up the wills of your people, Lord God. And open our ears to the preaching of John, that rejoicing in your salvation, we may bring forth the fruits of repentance through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and Watching and waiting, let us pray for all people and places that you 
yearn for God's presence. God of presence and peace, strengthen your church around the globe to proclaim the message of your love coming to the world. Open our hearts to recognize your face in all people and in all of creation. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of mighty redwoods and microscopic plants, fields and city parks, the wind and the waves, be a healing balm to our wounded planet. May we nurture what you have lovingly created. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of equity and compassion, bring righteousness and goodness to all peoples of the earth. Give a heart of discernment and integrity to leaders in our communities. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of comfort and care, be present with those who watch and wait. Come to all who await births, deaths, divorces, new unions, new jobs, retirements, healing, and life transitions of every kind. Today we especially lift up to you, Nikki, Harry, Joan, Ron, Jasmine, for the loved ones of Jack Sams, and Roger Dyer. We also lift up to you those suffering from COVID-19, the medical professionals on the front lines, the first responders, the people of Afghanistan, and our military. Please bring wisdom, guidance, and discernment to all our world leaders to help bring peace. We now lift up to you those we name before you now. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. God of promises kept and new dreams awakened, shelter your people from destructive storms. We pray for those whose lives have been upended by natural disasters for the work of Lutheran Disaster Response, Lutheran World Relief, and other relief organizations. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. God of companionship and community, we give you thanks for the saints who journeyed with us and now abide in you. Even in distress and uncertainty, make us confident that your promises endure forever. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. God of new life, you come among us in the places we least expect. Receive these prayers and those of our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. The peace of the Christ be with you always. And also with you. I invite you to grab your cool noodle and share the peace. <laughs> Thank you. 
We have an interesting mix of things in our bowl, but it's not baked yet. <laughs> we need flour and wine to bind it all together, and spice to give it zest <laughs> and brightness. <laughs> Would those of you who have spices and flour and wine and anything else that I might have missed, please bring them forward. So yes, this is my California water bottle, but you know, it, it had water and Jesus touched it. <laughs> Matt, can you come do some more stirring? from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be there with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water, as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these, these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. Let us pray. Stir up your power, Lord Christ, and come. With your abundant grace and might, free us from sin that binds us, that we may receive in your joy the spiritual things. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. At this point, we will have our offering, um, which can be done one of three ways. You can come and bring your offering up to the offering desk. 
then um, save a trip and bring it up when you come up for communion. <laughs>
body of Christ given for you. The 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 body of Christ.
to say. Um, so, you know, because Kathy read up on her Maccabees, so we can't miss it. <laughs> um, and uh, we'll do the parking update in a minute. Um, outreach meeting is next Sunday after church yep. um, in the library. Okay, so if you want to help and participate in that, that's the time to do it. I want to thank you all who um, came to help decorate and to deck the halls. Wait, deck the halls is coming. Yes, sorry. Okay, I didn't miss that. <laughs> um, so thank you for those of you who were here yesterday morning to help decorate. Um, and then next Saturday at 4 is deck the halls. Oh, there it is. Um, so if you want to bring a dessert or an appetizer to share, um, that would be lovely, and we're decorating the social hall um, where AA and NA um, use that, so it's nice and festive for them. And let's see, I feel like there was one I forgot. Oh, um, parking lot. Oh, also, um, so yeah, um, unless anyone really loves baking lots of cakes. I'll, I'll be baking this later on today. And then the plan is that for the next few weeks, we will um, have the fruit cake during our fellowship time. My turn. Your turn. Morning, everybody. Morning. Uh, if you park a lot, you notice there's a skip loader out there yep. and a little bit of a roller equipment and what have you. Parking lot redo is going to start tomorrow morning. Okay. So the, the lot will essentially be off limits uh, during that construction time. If you have reason to come over uh, to the church, please park on the streets so that we don't impact any of the construction that's going to be going on. There's going to be about two days of demolition that takes place first, and that's the area between the education area of classrooms and what have you, and the social hall. All of that's going to be removed and uh, prepped for uh, new asphalt. And then once the demolition is done both there and on this side of the, the old parking area out here, uh, once all of that is done, then that will be paid and the remainder of the parking area will, be, will have an uh, overlay of two inches of asphalt on top. There'll be parking stalls, including handicapped parking stalls marked so that you actually have a place where you can park your car in between lines. <laughs> that may be a challenge for some of us, but <laughs> right, Leo? Right. Yeah. <laughs> At any rate, Probably uh, don't have to back up. Yeah, is, uh, uh, once again, I want to remind you that if you do happen to come over, Please stay out of the way of the construction folks uh, to make that go as quickly as possible. The plan is that it should be done this week. Pray for good weather. <laughs> it's supposed to be nice all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's, we anticipate that uh, it, it should be done by, by, uh, by next Sunday. So, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me of that. If you, if you have to come over here, we can use that entrance. Just bear in mind that there is going to be construction activity going on, so kind of be aware of that. And if there's a group meeting at some point in time during the week, a number of people, only one person, uh, if you would, uh, you could come through the, the, uh, the courtyard area and use that entrance and, and exit. We'll do that for Bible study. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Right. And thank you, Jim, for all of your hours of hard work on this. Thank you. Thank you. And now I invite you to stand as you are able. Oh, say something. No. <laughs> After two years, I put new pictures up out there, so if you want to look at them. And also, uh, the history room is all done now, so if anybody wants to look in there. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work on that. <laughs> okay, and now please stand as you are able to receive the benediction.
the God of hope, fill us with all joy and peace in believing, so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ, for whom we wait. Amen. Amen. Thank you.